so Madison Mayor Paul Sockman says he's actually going to do it. That's run for governor. He wants Scott Walker, and that's understandable. He was certainly there with the marchers during the Act 10 rallies. It was no small thing beating incumbent Dave Cheslevich after a long hiatus. Paul Sockman has had nine lives and then some in politics over more than 40 years. You can look back to his initial win for mayor when his opponent, Bill Dyke, with a Bing Crosby hat, who was very conservative, said on the fortnight before the election, I hope there are enough decent people left in Madison to vote for me. Well, he didn't win. Paul Sockman keeps coming back and coming back. He is a lifelong progressive, and he is in an era where Democrats want partisan blood. They are moving to the left, not to the right. He has so many opponents in the primary, he just might win a primary. He's got a, a nucleus of support around the state on the progressive front. Plus, he's outspoken, he's cantankerous. The paper said he was taciturn, that's a good word for it too. But Sockman has more personality, more color, more acerbic wit. He's able to go for the jugular, almost in this Trump era. That's what progressives want. Somebody can out-Trump Trump. Sockman can do that. The other opponents don't have that kind of color. Tony Evers is supposed to be a favorite, but he's not very exciting compared to Paul Soglin. So in a primary with all those candidates, you just need a certain amount to win a plurality. Soglin could do that. Now, in the general, in the fall, it's a different story. In 1996, when the maps were more favorable to the Democrat than they are now, he lost big to incumbent Scott Klug in his race for Congress. They're going to call him a red mayor and a commie and a socialist and a radical from the 60s. They're going to point out his anti-war record. All that stuff will be thrown at him. And a state that has gone red in recent cycles and elected Scott Walker three times, the battle will be uphill. But Paul Soglin, in my view, can win the primary. You heard it here first. My two cents, my two minutes are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can read your kitchen, your basement, your bathroom, your staircase, make your home feel just like home. We can argue about this and more on The Mitch Hank Show on MadisonTalks.com and Facebook Live.